Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. On um, today, we're going to do the flip cup pour over paint. Or is it pour over paint still? It's a flip cup. So I already have all the paints ready because I learned my lesson the first time. It is faster for you to have all the paints set up and ready. So here I already pour in gray. Now we're doing black. Now we're doing white. And what I'm doing is I'm just fully pouring them in. I'm not going to do no divisions. I'm just pouring it. I have whatever is left of the pink and she's a little bit thick because I found out that they dry after a while. So she ended up having a little bit of chunks, but that's perfectly fine. Then I also ended up making kind of like a green, gr black gray, which honestly I was thinking that I was going to mix, but I mean it came out pretty freaking dope. You guys, I felt that I didn't have enough paint, so I went ahead and just add a little bit more of the gray what was left now in this part I was kind of scared because one I didn't even notice that the cup was broke like it has like a nice little slight cut so it's a broken cup I wasn't sure if I have enough paint because everyone else cups are like really freaking packed like pack up there to the max and yes I am reusing the same cup of the previous DIY now again this is everything that's on a budget so I just wanted to really experience and experiments more of anything how the pour the cup flip thingamajingy was gonna work now here is the moment of truth I am just winging it we are going for it I don't know what to expect I don't know what to do uh, I want you guys to see and <gasps> Ooh, okay so far i see like a galaxy right in the middle i see a lot of green what happened to my pink and now it's time to the move on paint so i learned a little bit from the first one still i forgot to go ahead and put on gloves and i wanted to go ahead and do kind of like a circle motion as i'm turning it because i don't really want to get rid of all the green and i don't want to have too much black so we're over here trying to eyeball it and i am so sorry that i am out of freaking frame i forgot to zoom out you guys i am filming this all by myself now i found out that you could do the little touch to the side moment for to pour through and just tap and touch tap and touch but i also ended up forgetting to put white or black in this case around the rim for it to kind of pour smoother just in case but so far it's looking pretty freaking dope there is a lot of air bubbles to this i'm noticing that which it's kind of giving it like a galaxy milky way style now i would say that i've seen something like this before at ross and i thought it was really cool it was a little bit more bigger than that and it had like some cool written design for like 12 to like 15 bucks and you know the fact that i'm able to do this by myself it looks pretty freaking dope you guys you need to try this out especially since we are still in quarantine or just to do it as a fun activity with your boo or with your friends i mean it, it's pretty freaking dope i'm not gonna lie definitely it is a messy experience but just look at it just look at this admire this Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Definitely, I think this one was my favorite one. I can't wait to do another one, you guys, because I see that there's so many different ways of doing it. I'm not an artistic person, so the fact that this came out pretty dope, I'm pretty proud. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!